Hi guys, it is a new week. It's Monday afternoon right now. I'm currently at my computer. I am editing week in my life from last week. And not much is going on today, honestly. Today is definitely like a chill, get my life together kind of after the weekend day. I'm just doing like laundry and dishes and cleaning and boring stuff like that today. So yeah, Monday is pretty lame today. Okay, today is officially not a very vlog worthy day. I will just have you know. Today has been editing my vlog, which I'm almost done. I'm on the last day of the week <laughs> footage. I had to take a break because I was just working on it nonstop for so long. I always think it looks funny when I turn on one of my overhead lights. It, it does look funny, it actually does. But this one is a lot harder to turn on because the plug is like always falls behind my TV stand and then it gets like buried under there. Sun is setting over LA. I'm watching Kaylee McKenzie's vlogs. If you don't watch her vlogs or her main channel videos, you seriously should. Kaylee McKenzie. I love her vlogs because they are just so like casual. I basically really only do watch vlogs unless I'm like catching up on my friends videos or I see like sometimes like story times or stuff like that am I recommended on YouTube but I really only watch like vlogs now. So hopefully you guys like the vlogs that we have been doing. All of these cases are for iPhone 5 or 5s because they're my old phone cases before I got a 6 and they don't fit my phone anymore otherwise I would be keeping all of them because I fucking love them. By the time you guys watch this, they will actually be listed. This is a really long clip of me talking and it's like, just, I'm gonna stop now. Hello guys. I don't think the lighting is too great right now. My camera's just propped up on a tumbler cup, but it is, I was about to say it's Wednesday, but I'm pretty sure it's Tuesday. Whew, it's Tuesday. I was about to say if it's Wednesday, what the heck, this week is going by way too fast. I just woke up a little bit ago, took Squirtle out for his walk. I made a bagel. I just um, planned out the things that I pretty much wanna get done this week, at least by Friday. Feeling a bit overwhelmed with my week, um, but like I know this stuff is all like reasonable. I can get it done. That's why I divided it by the days. I really like this little week thing because you can kind of put your week at a glance, I guess, on this side, and then this is like the days separated. Basically, stuff I wanna get done is finishing putting up everything on Depop, so finishing pictures and listing everything. The air conditioning just came on. Um, I want to book the Airbnbs for the first half of me and Megan's road trip that we're taking in September Which I haven't even told you guys about but it's like pretty much planned out right now other than like exactly where we're staying But the route is planned out and I am so excited We're gonna be leaving around September 13th and getting back at the end of the month So it's gonna be like two weeks ish, but basically we're starting in LA heading up like we usually do we're heading actually to Yosemite hopefully to Lake Tahoe, up through Oregon to Crater Lake and Portland. Probably gonna like stop in Seattle, but probably not for like a whole night. And then up to Vancouver, and then we're going a pretty long way from Vancouver, which is in BC and Canada. I'm gonna try to spend more than one day and one night there this year because it was my favorite place that we went on the road trip last year. So I wanna spend two nights there and two full days. It's just like the road trip is always slightly rushed because it seems that we're always trying to get to a music festival at some point on the road trip, which we are. We're gonna go to Life is Beautiful in Vegas at the end of September. So I just booked our Airbnb actually for that last night and I'm really excited about it. We're staying in this like cute house. It's a communal house, so there'll be like other guests staying there, but it's really, really pretty looking and I hope I'm not gonna regret not staying in a hotel on like the strip. I know there's gonna be a lot of people in town for Life is Beautiful that weekend, so it's just gonna be fun like either way. I'm just all about that Airbnb life. If you guys haven't used Airbnb, I always have my code, which you can get $30 to travel for free. So it's like a $30 travel credit in the description box if you guys haven't ever taken a trip on Airbnb. Just for signing up, you will get that credit and then you can go and book your first trip from there if you would like to, but it's completely free to like sign up. I'm talking a lot about this road trip. It's not even until next month. So this is a long clip, but we're also gonna be going to a couple 
beautiful national parks in Wyoming. I'm gonna go visit my brother who lives in Jackson, Wyoming now, Colin, and then we're probably gonna go down through Utah, go to Arches National Park. If we have time, hopefully we'll have time to explore a little bit of Utah, but it's gonna be kind of rushed because like I said, we are gonna be trying to get to Vegas for the festival. I just got really into that. Basically this week I wanna book the Airbnbs for the first half of it and I wanna book the rental car for it. Other than that, just like, I'll show you guys as this week progresses. Goodbye, I need to eat my bagel. I'm off to the post office, looking homeless again. Hey girl, just hanging with Lam. Me and my guy. <laughs> Meg came over to uh, get the filming light because she loaned that to me a couple weeks ago. All right guys, it's Wednesday. The vlog's off to a bit of a late start because I've just been like running around all day. I'm currently at Tender Greens. Megan's about to meet me here. We're having dinner, so very late start to the vlog today. But I've just been doing stuff around the apartment and like honestly nothing exciting. This is what I always get. It's a hot plate with chicken, mashed potatoes, and then this is a romaine heart salad and then they give you a little crouton, mint lemonade. I get this like every time. It is so dank. No, 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 no. Don't you feel me? Oh, you? <laughs> no, you had to do it in the funny voice. No, no, no. <laughs> No, 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 no. We finished our meal. It was so good. I'm so full. It was delicious as always. We're going to meditation. Ooh, it's my third week in a row going. Hell yeah. Um, this is going to be a really good one today. So I'm pretty excited. Megan never comes. So thank God she's coming this week. Woo. We got a good sun tonight. Tonight we are using Labradorite. I have never, I don't think, had or used a Labradorite and I've heard really good things. What are your thoughts on Labradorite? Magic acceleration, self-discovery and intuition activates adventure. I was telling the lady in the door that one of the first times that I went to a crystal shop like in back in my hometown with one of my friends, she was like, Labradorite is the best, like, the best meditation. So I got it, and I love it. Yeah, it's like one of those good ones for if you're like first starting off, like doing crystal meditations. Like I always feel like my, I don't know, I guess like vision. So you have a little one or no? Yeah, yeah. I have I think two. I have like oh. a Labradorite slab oh. that um, Brie and Tia got me from Bali. Wow. All right, this is an important stone, I would say. Hi guys, I'm sitting on my living room floor right now because I really wanted to film this clip and I wanted to film a talking clip talking to the camera because I haven't vlogged today. Today I have just been like running around. I had a few appointments today that kind of took a while. It's not really an excuse for not vlogging, but I'll tell you guys like about my day and stuff. But honestly, this week has just been kind of weird. I want to apologize for not getting that many clips so far of like me out doing stuff. But you know, like certain weeks you are more of a homebody. Um, other than today, that's been like this week for me. It's only Thursday, so like we still have the weekend to vlog, but I just wanted to say, I know this vlog hasn't been like that exciting yet. It's just been a lot of me talking in the camera. I know a lot of you guys don't mind clips when I'm doing that, so hopefully you guys don't mind because sometimes I really do just want to like talk to you guys like right now. And I have some stuff to show you. Basically today I had a dermatologist appointment for, um, this is it. <laughs> you you know this is it. I'm freaking talking about it. I've had it for like over a week now and I went to get it uh, injected. It's called like a cortisone shot because I don't even know if it's a zit. It's like a cyst. It's been making me so angry and nothing I do is like helping it. So I got it injected and that makes it like go down significantly in like a day, whatever. I used, I think I did that once when I was like a teenager and I had like insane severe acne. Um, but I haven't done that since, so it's not like a thing I regularly do. This sit was just like really, really getting to me. I haven't even wanted to like vlog a lot this week. I did that and then I went and um, I tried out a new eyelash extension place. So it's called Treat Yourself Studios. Three words for you. Treat. Yo. Self. Treat yourself 2011. Once a year, Donna and I spend a day treating ourselves. What do we treat ourselves to? Clothes. Treat yourself. Fragrances. Treat yourself. Massages. Treat yourself. Mimosas. Treat yourself. Fine leather goods. Treat yourself. It's the best day of the year. The, the best, best day of the year. And I've heard really good things about it from like Maddie Bragg and Devin Carlson. You can see them 
I'm really, really, really happy with the lash extensions. Getting these made me feel better about the planet on my face. <laughs> but we all get zits. It's that time of the month for me, so I think that's the reason I've been breaking out around my mouth a decent amount. We're all human, guys. I get acne, like, all the time. I still struggle with breakouts a lot, even though I'm 21, almost 22. Holy shit. So I guess it's normal, especially like hormonal acne. Anyway, I got my lashes done and I'm really, really happy with them. Like I said, I went to Treat Yourself Lash Studios. I would definitely recommend it. It was such a cute little place and really, really nice girls who do it. It's in Westwood. But yeah, I did that and that took a while. It was like, I think a two hour appointment and it was pretty far for me to like get there and get home. On the way home, I went to Sephora, which I haven't been to in a while, so I wanted to show you guys what I got. I got two hair products from Dry Bar, well, the Dry Bar line, which they sell at Sephora. This one is the Detox Dry Shampoo, which is my favorite dry shampoo. Seriously, this stuff is incredible. I wish they made it in a bigger bottle because, I don't know, I go through it kind of quickly and it's like $23, but it's incredible. And then Polina actually told me about this product that she loves. This is the Triple Sec which says texturizes, amplifies, and refreshes. I think this will be great. I freaking love the dry shampoo. I got a deodorant to try because seriously, my deodorants have literally not been working and like they don't prevent me from smelling bad and I don't understand like isn't that a point of deodorant? I have a clinical strength one right now, but it's like a antiperspirant, so I guess that's not the same thing as deodorant. So this says deodorant and antiperspirant. It's from Fresh. It's the sugar roll-on deodorant, deodorant and antiperspirant. I really hope this works good because like I never buy expensive deodorants, but I thought, okay, well if my cheap deodorants aren't working, then maybe I should invest. And then this is one of my absolute favorite perfumes. It's the Toka Colette. And this is like just a travel size bottle, but it's a pretty good size. This scent is everything to me. Yeah, it's absolutely everything. Lastly, I got a new beauty blender. That's what I really, really needed. And they make a nude one now, so you can't even see in the shitty lighting, but it's just like a brown color, which is really nice because your foundation gets on this. So like, it's nice to have a nude one, which is good. That's all the Sephora stuff. I got a new vinyl in the mail today, which I'm really excited about. And I want to show it to you guys. It is Alina Baraz's Urban Flora. Alina Baraz, if you don't listen to her, seriously, I'll link her SoundCloud in the description box. Hi, Squirtle. She's one of my favorite female artists, like my top female artists. I can't wait for her to come out with even more music because I believe this is just an EP. Maybe I'm wrong, but it only has eight songs. Um, so I don't know if this is a full album. I know that she's working on an album right now though But look how pretty this is and then the actual Vinyl is clear. I Already played this this morning. It was impeccable. It comes with like this Very nice Alina to me is just like a goddess. She's kind of mysterious like you don't I feel like you don't really know much about her I saw her at electric forest but I wish I was like more up close because I was in the way back like lying on the ground and it was really really hard to hear her. Um, I was only laying on the ground because it was like a really long day and I was exhausted and I was just like lying down for the set. It also came with some stickers so like shout out to this. I pre-ordered this. I just got this. I came home to an Amazon package and I don't know what it is. Did I not bring my scissors over here? Of course. I'm gonna go get them. This is such a long clip. I'm sorry. I order stuff from Amazon so much that I don't even know what's in the packages that I get until I open them like honestly you guys if you have Amazon Prime and you don't use Amazon for really basic things like toilet paper and paper towels and like cleaning supplies and stuff I honestly find it so much easier to order that stuff and have it delivered to me especially for free shipping which you get on Amazon Prime versus like going to Target and getting that stuff it's very like especially toilet paper and paper towels I know this might sound silly but I don't like going out and getting that stuff all the time like that stuff that you run out of all the time so I just order like bulk packs from Amazon, get them delivered, and then I have it for like months and I don't need to like go out and get it. So just saying, I feel like it's also cheaper to do that than to go out and get that stuff all the time. Life tips with Lynn. Oh, okay. This is exciting. Not for me, but for Sir Squirtle. Squirtle loves these bones. They're Smart Bones 24 mini peanut butter bones. Watch, I'm gonna give him one and he's gonna be so happy. They're like vegetable and chicken bones. That sounds like really weird that and they're peanut butter flavored, which is like Squirtle's favorite thing in the whole freaking universe. Look what I have for you. He's off. There's something else in here. What is this? 
Ooh. Okay. I forgot that I ordered this. All right, this is seriously something that I never thought I would order for myself. It's a container, a glass container. It's called a carafe. That's probably not how you pronounce it. Caraf. Caraf. I have no idea. This is like the little cup, which is really freaking tiny looking at it now. Meh. And then this is like, it's also the lid and you just keep this filled up with water on your nightstand basically. I mean, I guess you could put it anywhere, but I'm going to put this on my nightstand because I have to be drinking water and I always run out of water like before the morning. I want to like go to the fridge and get water. I know that's so lazy, but like I can just have my little thing by my bedside table. Why is this such a small glass though? Like, do you see this? Like... Maybe I'll just like chug out of this. I guess I could do that too. I guess it's like a nice way to make your water look on your bedside table so there's not just always like a water bottle or a glass. It's honestly not a necessary item at all, but I got it. All right, this clip has been extensively long, so all right, bye. Okay, it is Friday. I'm in the car listening to Blonde, which I'm surprised I haven't even talked to you guys yet this week because it has taken over my life this week i'm so so into it i'm in my little zip car and i am driving to a massage appointment in west hollywood so i'm in desperate need of this i'm so ready i will see you guys a little bit later in traffic but listening to frank so like honestly it's all good <laughs> All right, I'm currently leaving Farmer's Market at the Grove. I just went to Blaze Pizza. I got a beautiful pie. I haven't been to Blaze in multiple months. I'm so excited. And I went to Veggie Grill and got sweet potato fries because they're my life. And Agua Fresca from Blaze. And now I'm pulling out of the parking lot. Uh, uh. I will never get over how much I love driving in Hancock Park. It is the most beautiful freaking area. In 1,000 feet, turn left. All right, I got home. I got a little bit more ready. I'm wearing a different outfit. I'm wearing my Lazy Oaf shirt. It says potty mouth and denim jacket. The back of this is everything to me. It has all these patches. It has this like soft, big, lazy word. So I'm just wearing that with some black pants and then just vans like usual. I'm gonna go see a movie with a lot of friends. So I'll see you. Ooh, short hair. I'm with Meg, Nevin, Heeny Dean. We're about to meet up with Drew, Lexi, Finley, Maddie, Jacob, and maybe someone else, maybe Claudia. I don't know. We'll see who shows up this Claudia evening. Claudia was like taking a nap earlier or something. If she's down for it, she's down for You're gonna see Don't Breathe, and I'm really excited. I haven't seen a scary movie in theaters in ages. It was a really expensive ticket. I have high expectations because $23, you should have high expectations. I got you jump on camera. That was his. Mom's in bed now. I'm gonna get in bed too. I love you. Squirtle got to play with Larry tonight while we were at the movies at Megan's. So that was really good. I think he had fun. He always gets very tired though after playing with Larry. So we saw Don't Breathe tonight. I feel like it was really well done. I thought it was very scary and like really kept you involved and kept you on your toes the whole time. Scary movies are kind of like, they're usually not that good, at least like recent scary movies for the past like few years. But I heard that this one got like good reviews. Um, but it was really, really good. I thought it was just very intense. Like it's rated R. It was like violent, you know, like, I wouldn't recommend seeing it unless you want to actually be scared. It was a fun Friday night. I'm so tired right now. I'm going to take off my makeup and go to sleep. I will see you guys tomorrow. It is Saturday. I'm listening to my Naka Medicine for the People record. This is such a good like start off the day album, Hoka. Seriously, it puts me in such a good mood. Just made a smoothie for the first time. Legitimately haven't used this Nutribullet in like multiple months. I don't know why. I guess I haven't been in a smoothie phase. I kind of want to make like a smoothie bowl type thing. 
so I'm pouring it in here. Yes. Why don't I make this every single day? Are you kidding me? This is so beautiful. Heck yeah. I'm watching these guys today. Megan and Nevin went to FYF, and I'm babysitting Larry today and tomorrow, so they're just, you know, doing their thing. I just got out of the shower, hence the robe. I've been hanging out with the boys for a while, and now I am going to go to Earth Cafe. I would just officially like to say that I'm here for this. <laughs> this breakfast sandwich, it's like a BLT with eggs. I got a fresh squeezed lemonade. I always forget to get a drink. You forgot to get a drink again? Last time we were here, you did the same. I just got a little limonade, but I kind of wish I got a latte. What did you order? So not a fan. Oh, a crepe? <laughs> a crepe? Look at that presentation on that crepe. <laughs> Just kidding. That's a beautiful crepe. Oh, that's gorgeous. Is there Nutella in there? Yeah, I hope. So I just got home from brunch. It was more like lunch because it was 2 p.m. <laughs> with Ollie and it was so yummy. I am going to go ahead and end this vlog because I'm going to finish up editing it and uploading it. So I think I have a good amount of footage from this week. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end, you seriously rock because I know this was a long one. And I love you guys. If you are enjoying these week in my life vlogs, I would love if you give this a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next week in the next one. Bye. I love you.